Hey there, today I'm going to show you the new CoderPad environment as well as the addition of frameworks into CoderPad. Easiest way to do that on my end is by creating a pad and showing the new environment. So you see that there is a Ruby tab over here in the left hand side as well as drawing mode. I'll just quickly open that. And then the ability to add a new environment or a question to the pad. So just for context, I'll open this menu. You can select from over 30 different languages, but in this case, I'll select JavaScript, and I'm just gonna quickly write a console.log. You see here, I run the code, and there's my console.log there, and then the hello world console logs there. I'm just gonna switch back to the Ruby tab just to show you that can, you can switch between the different tabs very quickly. So I've attached a new language environment, but what I'm gonna do now is attach a question. So you see here, I click this menu at the top, select a question. And just to highlight frameworks as the new addition to CoderPad, I'm going to select this React question. So boom, I've just loaded this new tab. You see it's labeled as question with the React symbol. But you'll notice there's now a file tree that makes up the React application. This includes all the components and the different files that you need to render the application. And boom, you'll see the app rendered over here on the right hand side. You also have access to logs, which will give you any errors while you're coding. And then you also have access to a shell. So I'm just going to quickly run and create an empty directory. So you see here, I just created the empty directory and it's in the folder structure. What I'll actually do now is install a package into the environment. So I'm going to just install the popular package Lodash. Boom, it's installed. And you see it's available in the package JSON. So just to show you how quickly the app renders, I'm going to add a new component in here. Let me just name this paragraph.tsx. I'm just gonna grab the contents from header and just adjust it just for time's sake. Uh, let me export this. I'm gonna change this slightly to make it smaller. And boom, so now I'll be able to import this into the main component uh, paragraph. Oh, let me, my type in's a bit off today. That's okay. So boom, I've just imported this paragraph component and now I'm going to actually render it. So here I will just use paragraph. Hello. You see how quickly it's loading because I actually don't, doesn't have access yet. And boom, you'll see my paragraph has loaded in here. So just coming back to the question, all of this code here was actually starter code attached to the question. You can add files and things before you even use this in an interview. So basically creating the starter repo for the candidate. You also have the ability to include instructions with the question. So you see here, these are just requirements for this example question for the candidate to complete. Program output, we've already covered, just uh, the basic access to the shell, etc. And then over here, private interviewer notes. This is for the interviewer to conduct notes during the interview. Again, this is only available for the interviewer. The candidate won't be able to see this tab. So hopefully this was a helpful walkthrough. If you have any questions, please reach out to us at support at coderpad.io. Thanks.